Well, hey there, Pilgrim friends. It's Pastor Eric. I'm coming to you live from my study on Monday, December 14, 2020. I wanted to follow up on our reading and on our sermon from yesterday. So if you didn't get the reading, it's, it's um, again, Mary's Magnificat, Luke chapter 1, verse 46 through 55, and uh, especially verse 53. And then the sermon is also online on our YouTube page. I encourage you to hear that. Pastor's questions go like this. First, question number one. What surprised you about our talk yesterday on Mary's song? What surprised you? Maybe you were bringing some expectations to the table, but you were surprised. What, what was that surprise? Two, what do you hunger for most of all? What drives you during the day? What keeps you awake at night and fills your heart with delight? Ask yourself this. It's important to know what really drives us. Three, how did I address in the sermon that divide often found in church life over how to read words such as hunger? Recall I said that, that some say hunger must be spiritual only, right? And some say that hunger must be physical only. But how does Mary use the word here? And what's the key clue in the line itself? So go back to verse 53 and look for the clue that indicates that, that what Mary is doing here is, is something special. Four, I urge you to trust that God can change our desires from the instinctual desires that we're born with to spirit-filled desires for his glory and everything. What was one specific part of that urging that I gave to you? How are we supposed to start such change? Number five, I asked you to show compassion to the rich. You might have been surprised. Normally we'd hear that we're supposed to show compassion to the poor, and you are. But I called you for, to show compassion to the rich. What did I mean? And how can we show compassion to the rich? What does Jesus soon coming again mean to those who are rich? And folks, folks, to get the answer, go back to the verse itself. The verse tells you what you who are rich and self-satisfied can expect on Jesus' second coming. And last, number six, how will you respond to hunger and thirst this week? Is it just hunger and thirst you're feeling, or is there something else? Is it a sign for something greater than just that? I encourage you to wrestle with these. Call me. Reach out to me. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know also what you're troubled with, also how you're hearing these sermons. And we'll finish up this Sunday uh, with God uh, sends word. We're going to be on the angels this week. God sends word. We'll see you then.